Hello and welcome back. This is Grillenheimer. I just want to go through a few of these characters that I've created um, real quick. And I've mentioned these two before. This is Twin Core. This is Pith Core. To get a history on some of these guys, look at some of my, my older videos on the homemade Transformer character side. Um, you know, their star counts total 25. So I, I can't use any stars, star cards, with them at all. Um, though their health total is like 32, their attack is very low. Um, his, his most attack is three for Twin Core, only two in bot mode. Pith Core uh, has the, the most on f at, at four on his bot side. So you know um and he does have a pierce and being able to nullify pierce in this mode here um I, I, and i want to i need to rewrite i want to fix uh twin cores um verbiage on here to where instead of picking enemy limbs and ko it or anything um and combiner team that when battling in this mode if I get seven or attack or more, I can flip him over here. It's a mother may I. I don't have to if I don't want to, but if but if I do, it will. It, I'm going to change this to a star count instead of a combiner team member. Uh, to it, like it's an instant KO, and it's not the one. It's not an enemy you're fighting. Um, so it's going to be. I'm gonna I'm gonna word this a little better. I've been I've been trying to test these guys out a little bit. Um, okay, and and you've seen a few videos where I've been testing these guys. I've done more than I've than I've shown. Uh, this is this is Sergeant Sealer, who is a ten star character. He is a water tank. For all my water tanks, I have made three of them. Check some of my older videos. Uh, he has. I wrote, drew, the tank symbol on here so I can use tank cars for the water tanks, um, battle cards. So, and this defend, <laughs> he's no attack on this side, five defense. On the other side, it's just the, the opposite, five attack and zero defense. Um, I'll... I like, I gave him a, a little bold on in bot mode and green pips add extra damage. So it would be a good, he would go well with orange, black, and green, uh, kind of a pip deck here. But his defense, this has come out, come out really neat and it's happened a few times. Um, when I play the opposing character the opposing team um i don't want this to happen so i have to make sure that i am the character that is attacking is that has to attack when he's tapped um or just attack attack somebody else in a, uh, on the team but it has happened where i end up having to you know against any land vehicle i've gone over this before uh scrap cards from my deck until you find an action card attack back that many cards to your attacker um i just didn't it's just it's just wordy and i was trying to make it as small as, as possible here and i do that first maybe i should do it second to where you got the attacker and flip battle cards for the attack and, and then maybe I should flip battle cards for the defense and then do the defend but I, I've been doing this first um, so there is a possibility uh, based on how uh, the the deck is uh, created um, and I did make one with a deck for him one time where there were more upgrades than actions. I think I found that deck by accident the other night and uh, 
where, where it really hurt the other team. So that was pretty fun. Um, so he's a pretty solid character. I will admit that. And, uh, and the art's okay. It's a little bland, but at least he has a background. I did not give everybody a background. Um, let's do this. Let's go back to this guy, the church bot, Weather Vane. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, military Chapman. Safeguard 3. Kind of vanilla on this side. Again, he's an, a building character, um, which is something I came up with building um, because I've done been doing some strange characters for the heck of it. He only has Safeguard 3 in this mode, but strong defense as a church. Uh, in bot mode, almost the opposite, but he has one defense. Uh, 11 star character. Did I put this on the wrong side? I got it on both sides. Okay. Pretty high star character with 14 health. Um, and you want to try to KO an enemy with him, or I do, I guess. Um, and when you KO an enemy, what blanked? That was weird. Each player pulls armor upgrades f f from each of their scrap piles for, each, for the two teams. Add armor to each character left on the battlefield. So, even if they already have an armor, you can swap their armor out uh, if he actually KOs somebody on the other team and the, and the game is still going. So, obvious. That's just obvious. Um, so, that's, that's a pretty neat little thing. And th that's pu pulled off a few times. Uh, and it's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful. Um, it helps the team he's on. And it may actually help the, the opponent team as well. Um, but, you know, I was, you know, haven't had the idea of maybe Christian is the wrong word, but a religious sort of character, even though Transformer bots are, I mean, they have their own religion and mythos, which is really neat and interesting that's been created and changed all throughout the three decades we've we've known these guys but um but that you know he doesn't want to ko an enemy and if he does ko somebody then this will happen and it and everybody gets a, an armor buff at, from their scrap pile and you have to have armors in your scrap if you just if you just uh you know had to shuffle your scrap to turn it into your deck, you don't have a scrap pile anymore. Um, so it wouldn't happen. And that would be the one instance where Weather Veins, um, and that's happened too. It's, it, it has backfired like that. Bus load again, armors. He's a what pretty high for a 12 star character. Again, pretty average uh, three attack on this side, five on this side. Um, I haven't been able to really utilize his, God, like that is, and I mentioned it last time, I, I may need to just fix this, some of these guys. Um, you know, when your opponent plays an action on their turn, add an armor upgrade to this character. So, doing things on your defensive side is, is neat, based on what your opponent is doing. And if you're, um, I haven't, I haven't, I don't know if I've seen that with many characters. I don't have Wave 5 yet. So, and you can have two armors in your armor slot. You have to add them on to him in this mode, but of course they will go over to the other mode. Um, so, in, you know, being a school bus looking character, he want again like Weather Vane, he wants others to be able to be protected. So I guess I could use both of these together and have a star a couple of star cards in there. I haven't thought of that, but that's that's an idea. And I came up with these guys. You can tell the look. He came first. He came I made him last summer. Uh, I was working on him this past winter, so these guys were not um, imagine together. Um, now I've gone over inner queue and I've been able to pull this off with a certain deck. Uh, 
impressive. It was neat. It did not save the day. That is recorded. I do have it in my playlist uh, under Transformer Games, I believe. So, you know, having th three blacks, three greens and three black, and being able to swap and one armor and one weapon with two different characters. Um, and then you have Judgment, where draw a card and play an action if he takes more than four damage. Um, he still has to take the damage, but then you uh, you get to draw a card and play an action. It's it just kind of neat. Um, I've never seen that before. Again, he's supposed to be a Quintesson uh, specialist. And this has happened a few times. Of course, it takes a brainstorm normally, uh, or a character like, say, Way Force Springer, where th that's uh, where you're able to play a uh, action cards. Maybe I should have just put three cards instead of action cards. I don't know, but I've I've been really trying to make sure they're simply action cards. This guy's neat. He's nice. He's a triple changer. But let me tell you. He's not that great. Uh, again, up, upgrade centric character is Diesel Head. Um, and I think I've, I've seen, I think we have a battle card or somebody has something similar about, well, we've had certain upgrades where, you, you know, if you scrap a card from your hand, uh, like vaporize, um, be able to remove upgrades from your opponent's hand. I mean, from your opponent's characters um, and others that allow where they have you pick it and then they can pick it depending on you know, like smelt. Uh, so to you know, with smelt, the opponent gets to choose what they have to take off. But with this guy, if he's defending and you have him decked with all with three upgrades on him, you know, it's it just it's pretty neat. And then uh in with in, in his bot mode, and this is I've this has been work been able to work. Uh this has been pretty neat. And then even though he's a Decepticon, I did make him a wrecker. I did go over his story in a previous um in a previous uh, video as well. I believe it's pretty neat. This is my Silver Bolt, though um, I've, I've gone over these all these guys. Um, I just don't play a lot of secret actions. Um, it's hard to come up with decks for these guys, and I'm not a big, a great deck builder. Um, I, I listen to all, all a lot of the, the guys on YouTube I don't have a lot of time to play the game or make a lot of decks or whatever or make specific decks so I just throw stuff together to just play two teams together for the most part um, I mean I do have some decks but they're always very specific and and that, that's the one thing I've noticed about Transformers the card game which I really like I really enjoyed I've really enjoyed making these characters as well but it's very um, very battle card specific of course it's a card game you're going to want that you want to be able to make you know power heavy um cards such as that uh and, and here's another building that i created waterproof he's a uh, nautical i put my boat symbol on there for my boats but I, after I, I got to this guy I, I used the same symbol and used nautical because of uh certain conditions uh for my for these characters and this is not easy to pull off now i've made a few heavier orange aggro decks i could probably pull this off now um but when i was testing him and originally i was not using orange aggro decks um or mixed decks and it was hard to pull this off I've pulled it off a few times though, I will say that. But this guy is neat. Um, yeah. After you attack in this mode, untap another nautical character in alt mode. So, and if you look at some of my other con other conditions, my other videos, and look at my boat characters or the quote unquote 
my nautical characters. He's the only lighthouse. I've made three submarines and a lot of boats. Um, the submarines are all Decepticons. Those are really neat guys. I like them. Um, and let me, speaking of boats, we'll go on to him. Uh, Captain Galleon Prime. If, if someone asked me of all the 30, 40 something characters you've created, who would you want to be the official? All of them. All of them. No. But <laughs> I don't think that would happen. But this guy is really neat. I really like him. He's he's an Autobot and a Decepticon um, with a bounty, like a mercenary. Uh, because, gosh, it, this just opens up so many battle cards. I've never seen this happen. I don't know if uh, the Wizards of the Coast ever do this. Uh, again, here's the normal nautical untap another character um, after you attack. And it's always in their weakest mode, so it's always a risk. Um, when this does enough damage to KO an enemy, use the kind of, you know, bounty, flip to your other mode, which you can do this anytime during the game. When you flip, your opponent scraps cards from their deck equal to their total to current defense base. Um... And I was been playing him a lot lately in in certain with certain characters and certain decks, and he's just fun, just fun. A little twelve twelve star count, so he's a little little up there. But we've been seeing that a lot lately, even when wave five. And I started creating this guy like October November last year. Um, no, no, I did him. He wasn't in this last batch. He was in the batch before. So he was last summer. That's right. And this guy I thought would team up better, pretty well with the, the bus load. But no, Chief Dosserbot. And this is hard to, to try to keep up with. Um... I mean, it is and it isn't really. Once, if you you know, equip a weapon on him, you can always play another action uh, throughout the rest of the game. Pretty much, uh, you just got to get a weapon on him first. Even if it's knocked off, if it, you know, put a weapon on him a previous turn, play another action. Uh, but you just can't play two actions. Just putting a weapon on him during that turn, it has to be later. Um, of course, you have to flip here, too, so you have to go back and forth. So, so warranting flipping the character as well. Um, and it is a when-you-flip kind of thing as well, so you do have to flip him flip him to his weaker mode to be able to play the other action and that's um and i'm show, going over some of these that i have been testing that I've, I've liked that have worked out a little better there's some that i've realized where it's it's just being being dummy me where i try to do a flipping defense issue and that doesn't really happen um, because you don't flip on your defense. You flip on your attack. Um, so it's not easy to keep up with. And so I, re I have realized my error out of really playing and testing these guys out. And I don't get to play the game a whole lot myself anyway. I been, haven't been playing with these guys in a while. I've actually been just doing official characters lately. Um... And it, I'm just going to go over Copper, and that's it. I didn't mean to go this long. Uh, but he's been really fun. Um, and, yeah, after he defends. So this has been really neat, especially if you have other characters. Now, he is a 15-star character. He He's he, he's pretty big. Um I was wanting to make him a, 
I wrote Sentinel. I didn't mean Sentinel. I meant um, Guardian. I wanted to make him a Guardian, and I wrote the wrong thing on there. Um, again, another building, a character um, that I, I wrote Sentinel there too. Dummy me. I don't know. I mean, the Sentinels were the Autobot combiners. I mean, I could use their battle cards with him, I guess, if I wanted to, but um, I don't know. But this has been really neat. This has been really neat. Uh, testing him out, testing all these guys out, uh, playing around with a lot of green cards, a lot of black pep pierce cards, trying to nullify pierce, trying to pull off inner cues, um, stuff, uh, filling out diesel, diesel heads, uh, armor slots, I mean, upgrade slots, uh, has been really interesting. So I didn't mean to, uh, quite go this long. I just haven't, and that's another thing. I, my disposition has been up and down with wave five hitting and my stuff got put in the mail like Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, supposed to show up tomorrow at my work. And I'm like, well, crap, I'm not going to be there, but, uh, it'll be waiting for me when I, whenever I get back, I guess. But, you know, I, I, I was just, you know, real excited, uh, that I saw the email go out and I guess that's kind of got me back up again and watching a lot of uh, other fans opening box openings and stuff and seeing what what they've gotten and kind of what's filtering in and what ha how things are popping up it's it's just it's just fun and exciting and um, and so I can't wait to uh, to get get my box or two and, and, and see what I get uh, I'm trying to get more supplies I'm trying to get more of sleeves and top loaders and <laughs> and I'm having a problem trying to find them again I don't know why well I know why way five duh so with that I guess I guess uh, I'll We'll, we'll talk with you next time. We'll check you out next time. Uh, but I just really wanted to go over some of these guys. I feel like I already have, and I have. Um, I'm just blowing wind, I guess. Uh, honking my hot, hot air tonight. But I haven't had the chance to continue my dem Demicons. Every time I pull stuff out, my kids are or pulling me one way or the other and um, you know getting out riding bikes and and doing all sorts of fun stuff my son is at a really fun age and he does need a lot of attention but at the same time he's at an age where he can play by himself too um, I don't want to get in my personal life here but um, it's I just feel drained and I shouldn't be up this late at 1 30 in the morning on a Friday night anyway I need to be in bed which is where I'm going now so without further ado um, thanks for watching we'll catch you next time and hopefully I'll have some more Demicon stuff action uh, coming coming your way and uh, have a blessed night we'll see you next time and to always remember flip out and let's roll